What's going on guys? Got a video today that I didn't think I would find the time to record but I've managed to set some time aside so I'm going to get this done for you guys. I'm going to do it in a couple of parts, maybe three. I'm, I'm hoping three, at the most four. And basically all that it is going to be is a video on how I build my skin. So I've used the same skin for about a year now. I've just updated as code is updated. I made the jump to Jarvis last weekend and I did want to record this video on the shield but as I didn't have the time or the quiet house at the time I couldn't get that videoed for you. So I'm going to cover this on PC and it will just be a case of when it comes to the last part which will be deleting a few files I will do that on the shield just so you guys can see how it's done on both Android and PC so I've got all my add-ons installed to Coda everything that I'm going to use I've got it linked up to my NAS and that's about it all that I need for the Kodi side to start with so I'm going to show you where exactly you download this skin from I will leave a link down below with um, a Dropbox um, folder so you can just download it easily but for anyone who wants to go and visit the Kodi forum this is the web page and to get to the Zephyr skin support you want to go to support then skin support and then you want to go to Arctic Zephyr so these are all forum posts that people have made the one we're paying attention to is down here mod in brackets and then skin.arctic.zephyr.braz clicking on this there's quite a fair few pages of information that you could read um, questions that have been asked something that might be something in there for you if you are curious about adding widgets and all that stuff so I recommend giving this a read if that is what you want to do if you just want to download the skin from here you've got three you've got three sorry about that my phone you've got three um, links that all link you to github pages to download from here you just want to collect, select the download zip and it will begin to download I've already got these downloaded so I don't need to download them all so that's that I do have these downloaded already as you can see here that's what I've just downloaded so I'll delete that I've got my three files here this one which is the skin itself and then we've got two scripts that have to be installed first so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now so jumping back to Coda what you want to do is you want to go to system add-ons install from zip now I've got mine saved to my downloads folder on my PC and I know that my default drive is my C drive so I'm gonna go there I'm gonna find my account and then we will go to the downloads folder and then as you can see the free files are there ready to be installed you do have to install these two zip files first it doesn't matter which order that you do them in you just need to download them and install them first this does take a little bit of time as you can see it's already taken a little bit of time on my PC the bottom corner you will get a pop-up saying add-on installed I've already got them installed so it said add-on updated but yeah it does take its time it's just took a little bit of time on my PC and I've got 16 gig of RAM top spec so on the shield it took about a minute maybe a little bit more than a minute for both of them to install so don't get impatient with it guys and just let it run its course it will eventually install after a few minutes at the most so after you've got them installed you can then go ahead and install the skin itself this again takes its time you'll get several little pop-ups on the bottom and then it will ask you would you like to switch to this skin 
I'm going to select no because I'm going to show you one thing that is useful for people who like me are using a NAS device as well and that's simpler if you want to go to your videos and your files section it's a good idea to add your um, network saves or your your network attachments as such to your favorites so as you can see I've already got them added to my favorites but you where it says remove from favorites you'll get an option to say add to favorites you just want to select that so you don't have to move back and change the skin at um, a future time so now that's done I'm going to go to system appearance going to move over to the right and select skin and then as you can see Arctic Zephyr by Braz has appeared there would you like to keep this change I'm going to select yes and as you can see the skin's now changed this is the default setup for the skin so you've got all your what all of your shortcuts what the author or the developer thinks are relevant to be on the home screen there I'm going to end this video here um, the next video will be showing you how to edit these here add your own add-ons your own favorites your own shortcuts and also edit in the sub menu I hope this has covered it as basically as possible because that's what I always aim to do um, check the next video for the next part if you are going to go ahead and build this skin thanks for watching guys